this video we are going to learn about reduce by key in the previous one we understood how group by key works i mentioned in the previous video that group by key and reduce by key work on a pair identity pair identity is different than the traditional identity pair identity is having key value pair now let's understand what is reduce by key where reduce by key and group by key are very much correlation in correlation and you can apply or or get the same result by using any of the one but then why to use reduce by key or why to use group by key and which one is better in performance let's understand one line of statement reduce by key is much more faster than group by key let's take it look and why both reduce by key and group by key result in wide transformations which means both trigger a shuffle operation the key difference between reduce by key and group by key is that reduce by key does a map side combine and group by key does not do a map side combine now what does that mean let's try to understand let's see in this in this slide you will see that we are having three different partitions available in each partition we have a1 and b1 in second partition we have a1 a a1 b1 and b1 and in the third one we have 3 a1 and 2 b1 now when we see reduce by key what will happen is that in each of the partition before the shuffle operation happens and total number of retrieval of key of a performs what individually spark will do is spark will try to understand that in my same partition how many number of occurrence of a exist so it will try to combine that at local level at the partition level and once that combine is done it is shuffling the data and try to look in the other partition for the same key by doing that it is reducing the total transforms of data from one location to other and reduce the transfer rate which eventually improves your performance as given in this image you see that in the first partition which is in the very le left corner you see that a 1 and b1 are present there the first partition has a1 and b1 when it tries to look for the same key in the same partition it did not find it but in the case of the second partition you see that it reduced locally and a1 and a1 the two different set of the same key available which reduced to a2 and b2 in the third partition the reduced happened at the map side only and it it became a3 and b2 and once the local level of combine of the map operation happens then after the shuffle operations will take care now as you see the shuffle operation happened and from the all the three partitions it bring down the key a and the corresponding a uh, values of it so in the first partition we got a1 in the second partition we got a2 and from the third partition we got a3 so for the key e we have total number of records present as in 6 same for the b we are having total number of records present as in b as a 5 so the reduction and the manipulation or we can say the transfer of the same key validation happens at the partition local level at the combined side itself whereas in case uh, map side itself whereas in case of group by key what will happen let's see so in group by key you can see the data is not getting com combined at a map side it is happened the first level first it happens the the total number of shuffle it bring down all the a related values or the one key related values to one single partition and then it is performing the combine operation which eventually makes your application slower because it is not reducing and trying to club the correlated keys and perform the map side combine at the local level hope you are very much clear with uh, the concept of group by key and reduce by key and which one is faster one more time group by key is bit less performed performed output because it is performing the uh, the combiner after the map uh, joins happen where in the in the in the in the case of reduce by key the combines are happening at the local partition level where map operations is performed and after that it is getting combined so this is the key different between group by key and the combine by key a uh, group by key and the reduce by key and reduce by key is much more faster now let's go to our id and try to look at reduce by key example and try to understand how to implement that 
here we are back in our IDE in the group by key also we used the JSON file so to be in continuation we are using the JSON file and creating our data frame for the reduce by key operation we are doing the same operation here where we are creating a new RDD by selecting one single column then we are trying to print it and we'll see how it result out, result out. We are also doing a pair RDD on top of that which is creating a key value pair. This is also a collect statement which see how it uh, behaves in print. And then on the, print, on the pair RDD we are applying the reduce by key transformation which is wider transformation as it incurs the shuffle between the partitions. Then we are saying that for all the related keys I want the values to be clubbed and merged at the map level itself. After doing that, when we collect it and try to implement on top of or try to iterate over the elements, we will see our result in a good shape. Let's execute and see the result. Great, we have our result out. Now, if you see here, the collect operation which we are performing here, the rdd.collect and the pair rdd.collect, you can see the RDDs are straightforward and it is not combining any of the value. Though we are selecting one single column, but no key value pair combination is happening. Whereas in case of the second one, we are having a key value pair where we are denominating that the, the key uh, has one single value attached to it. And then we are trying to club all the related keys and try to perform the operations on top of the values, which is one in case of A and B in case of the another value of the same uh, key present here. After performing that, when you perform a collect operation and try to print the value, you will see that the total number of combinings are happening, where 5.1 occurs 9 times, 4.9 key value occurs 6 times, sample length 4.7 occurs 2 times, and so on and so forth. This way, you can combine your result and, and get the best use of reduce by key. Reduce by key is much more faster in compared to group by key and we understood in, in depth that why it is so. Hope you are clear with the concept of reduce by key. Do let me know in the comment box if you have any question on top of that. Again, I am putting lots and lots of effort to bring down this content to you. So if you feel that my content is helpful to you even by 1% then please like my videos and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next lecture.